Today, in Coding for Crinu, we're going to learn how to make a coin collecting game. I can't wait! Let's see how to do it. Welcome to the Whiz Kids Digital Skills Virtual Classroom. Let's call up PJ for a lesson on how to make a coin collector game. PJ loves making games too. Making games is so much fun. Welcome to my coin collector lesson. So we have a little bit going on in here. We actually have three sprites. We have two bikes. One of them is me, one of them is the computer, and I also have Kodu here in the middle who spins around and spits out some coins. And my job is to drive around and collect them. So if I press play here, you can see now I can zoom in a little bit here, and I'm just going to drive around here and try and collect a coin. There we go, I've got one there, I've got two, which is perfect. And you can see at the top right of my screen, I have indeed collected two coins. So our job now is to program our bike to move and to collect some coins. So let's strip this back a little bit and begin. So here we are in our world, we have no bikes, we just have a Kodu, and the Kodu has got a couple of lines of code. He turns right quickly and every two seconds he's going to launch a coin that is blue. So what we need to do now is bring in our own sprite. So if we click on the object tool, we right click, add an object, and we're going to go to this little menu here and we're going to bring in our cycle. This is us. So I'm just going to hover over him there, put a little arrow on top, and if I use my left and right arrow on my keyboard, I can change its colour. So I'm going to make my bike red and make myself feel important. So next up then, we are going to right-click, make sure we're in the object tool, and we're going to program our bike. Well, what is the first thing we want to do? Well, we actually want to move. So let's go when, and we're going to use our keyboard here. So when I use my arrow keys on my keyboard, I want him to move quickly. So I'm going to press escape on my keyboard and I'm going to press play and you'll see that I do indeed drive around my world which is great but if I bump into a coin nothing happens. So what we need to do now is we need to click on the object tool, we need to go into program and we're actually going to program something called a collision. When we collide into something we expect something to happen. So let's go to when, let's go to bumped so that's our collision so when we bump into a coin which is an object we go to more coin well I'm going to eat it so I eat it so the coin disappears but the thing is though we're not going to get a point so we have to create a little scoring system it's called a variable so let's go to line number three and I'm going to say when I bump into that coin I am going to Go to the game menu, we're going to add a score, and I'm going to choose a colour that is the same as my bike, so red, I'm going to add to the red score one point. So let's test out our hard work here, let's press escape, let's press play, and as Kodu spits out the coin, I'm going to try and race after it, and indeed I've got a point. And that is how you program a sprite to collect a coin. Thanks, PJ! That was super! That was such fun! If you want to learn more about the coin collecting game we made, go to this address. Next time, we're going to be making a target game. Until then, keep coding for Crinu!